Shore place. Yeah, so that's, that's probably where we've been. Yeah. Right. So uh, have you ever been in, you know, I don't know, a couple thousand miles up? Personally, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that um, there are astronauts who claim that we have destroyed the technology to go back to the moon? Really? Yeah. Uh, a guy named Don Pettit Don said that. Pettit. Yeah. Is that, ever, is that ever, have you heard anything about that? No, I don't really uh, study a lot of space stuff, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Did you know that, like, they can't get past what they call the Van Allen belt, Van Allen. which is a radiation belt? Yeah. So we can't get past or through that to go to the moon. No way. Yeah, so they're trying to develop some kind of technology to do that. Yeah? Who's they? They're like NASA, NASA. and, you know, maybe even SpaceX and other yeah. various uh, ventures. They have patents for that? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're probably oh. coming up with some. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess my point is, is that, cool that. Um, in 1969, right, they claim to have gone to the moon. Somewhere in 69. Yeah. And so if they're yeah. saying that we can't get past the Van Allen belt yeah. right now, and we can only kind of stay in, quote, low Earth yeah. orbit, how were it's they able to... Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. I actually have a, a DVD. Oh, I almost to, have a DVD player. <laughs> you don't have a computer? Well, no, I, I do. Uh, my computer does not have a DVD player in it. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I mean, just take the information, you know, and then uh, do with it what you want. I got a YouTube channel. You do? And then you can go on YouTube and just research the material. I don't trust NASA, but you trust Google. Uh, in what regard do I trust Google? Uh, YouTube's owned by Google, so you trust Google data and analytics to then go Google's through. Google's very independent. Hmm? Google YouTube? Google. It's just, Google? It's just independent people who publish whatever information they want. Oh, are you sure about that? Yeah. Positive? Right. Am I an independent person? Are you an independent person? Yeah. I would think so. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't really know you. I just yeah. met you. Yeah, right. Yeah, you exactly. For, both, for all I'm, I, all I'm aware, you might be a government agency. I could be, yeah. You know, so I have no idea. Well, yeah. Both. Yeah. It's open to the public. So, yes. I, I just find it quite interesting that, you know, NASA's the bad guys, yeah. but Google... You know, just there's like no, Facebook, there's no sell public you. opinion in that. But what if I don't? What if I don't care that they're doing that because I have nothing to hide? Yeah. Well, just because you have nothing to hide doesn't mean you, want, you don't deserve privacy. Okay. You know. Sure. Would you want me to come in your house and snoop around? Oh, you got nothing to hide, so I can just come in here. Right. Right. They want you to take shit because you got nothing to hide. Yeah. So you don't want privacy. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So. I was just playing devil's advocate. I totally agree with everything you just said. Right. So, do you put electrical tape on any of your cameras at home? Oh. You do? Yeah. Okay. Right on. Are you serious? Yeah. Walk that in What do you think of uh, computer generated images? Walk that in Well, I think some of them are pretty billable. I, I, you know, I know people who have done uh, algorithms to do fractals, which are quite stunning and amazing. Okay. But it depends on what type of computer generated images and what their purpose is for. Like, uh. Do you recognize them if you saw them? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. What about composites? Composites? Yeah, you know what composites, composites yeah. are? With, uh, with the police too? No, I mean like a, a composite image on a computer. Do you happen to know what that is? Uh, no, it might be. Okay, well I gotta just so happen to have this yeah. here for you if you don't mind right. holding that. It's a bit windy. This is good. Um, these are two official NASA photos. Yeah. And they show us what our Earth looks like from outer space. Right. Just if you could point out which size America is. Oh, geez. They were both taken from the same angle, so there's nothing to really yeah. decipher. Well, you don't have any scale on here, so I'm gonna say. No. Well, you're just supposed to look at it. But yeah, these but are official reference. But these are official NASA photos. Official NASA photos. Yeah, but uh, you know, playing devil's advocate, you're against NASA, so I'm not gonna take you as your word. No. Okay, so you don't believe me that these are official NASA photos? I don't either. It's neither uh, believe nor disbelieve. Okay, so could you humor me and let's assume that these are official not a NASA photos? I'm not a comedian. Yeah, I'm not a comedian either. Yeah. But I do have a comedian. I do have a comedian on that DVD. His name is Math Powerland. Is it any good? Uh, well, you find out right. if you watch the video. Yeah. yeah. What is, can, what's his stick? Uh, his stick is is that he claims to be the one that painted. Yeah. These images that you see okay. of Earth from space. Yeah. And there's also a guy named Rob Simmons who claims to have also right. painted the images that you see here, which are then officially yeah. labeled as NASA photos. All right. And so, okay. I guess just to, you know, again, humor us, yeah. 
why is it that if these are genuine photos, yeah. North America is two different sizes just in these photos here? Hmm. If they're supposed to be genuine photos of outer space, Earth. You no, know, I don't, uh, don't know optics, so yeah, that's not a question for me. You're not? Okay, not, not, a, not a question? Not, okay. I'm not an optics guy here. Alright, can we, can we just like back the train up a little bit and just go to basics? Maths 101? Sure. Okay. Do you know the circumference of the Earth? Uh, not offhand, no. Not offhand. But you do believe that you live on a ball in outer space, correct? I assume, yeah. You assume? Yeah. Okay. Where do you get your assumptions from? Like, what, what entities have provided you with the evidence to say, well, yeah, I feel more confident that we live on a... Education system? The education system. Yeah. Okay, where do they get their information from? Oh, that's a good question. Where Probably. do you get your information from? Back then, well, um... Research papers and theories from scientists? No, we're, we're talking about you now, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, if NASA was to provide the yeah. educational system information about where we live yeah. and outer space and stuff, yeah. would that be a valid argument to say that NASA provides most people, most educational systems with uh, information provided oh, yeah. about outer space? I would say so. Okay. Just like whoever you get your information from would also do right. the same thing. But you don't, you don't know the circumference of the Earth. Not a fair okay. So, it's not something I retain. Right, okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give you some new, maybe new information mm -hmm. that hopefully you can investigate in your own time. Right. The Earth's circumference is about 25,000 miles. Okay. Okay, just over... This Just under 25,000. What's that? Where's that data coming from? Uh, NASA, Google, and other various educational right. .govs and .edus. Right. Okay, so it's pretty, yeah. pretty uh, convincing. Yeah. And a pretty, you know, everybody kind of has that same idea. So. We'll just go from there, and then the curvature calculation is eight inches per mile squared. Like okay, so for every for hey, so what hey, we're gonna do yeah. with this girl right here? Leave something to the imagination, is what he's saying. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Most, most things we take in society are relative to the situation and location that we're in. Right. This is not a situation. I say we're in a situation right now. Yeah. Are we doing good? We're no, man. You crack those legs. Do it. Are we being civil right now? Having a civil conversation? Right. Yes. Yeah. Even though the, the subject matter is quite provocative. Is it? I think so. How so? Well, it's, it's legs. Some well, I mean, since you were a child. really? How about you? Have you been brainwashed since yes. a child? Yes. Uh, so how do you know that you're not brainwashed? Right now? Yeah. Facts are facts, and well, how do you know that they're facts? Because they're not pictures that somebody showed me. It's it's yeah. stuff that I can actually observe. So you're you. proving to me that this is real by showing me pictures and saying they're facts, but you're saying that you were brainwashed by somebody showing you. Pictures and saying the facts. So you're doing to me exactly no, what I'm you not. were saying that you were brainwashed that other people did to you. Facts, yeah. yeah, you I just gave me the circumference of the earth and you said that those two pictures were of the earth. That is a fact that you're telling the me. Circumference so of I have the earth to take is a fact. I know. But I'm saying that what you were saying is that you were given facts, brainwashed by people showing you pictures giving you facts. Saying, no, they exactly weren't giving you. me facts. That's what you said. I didn't say they were giving me facts. That. No, I didn't. Yeah. So you're doing to me I exactly what other people pictures. you said other people did to you, and say that you were being I'm actually, I said I'm actually giving you facts. They give you pictures. Well, That's how do you know that? Because I can see the pictures that they yeah. gave you, and they give you a globe. Well, they didn't give you. You did. Those You've never seen ones. those pictures before in your life. Same thing. You see a globe from the day you entered preschool. You get a globe right there yeah. every single classroom. That's, That's a globe, not a picture. 
It's a same. It's an image. Is it? It's yeah, an idol. An it's, an it's an idol, man. An image of the of the so-called blue bird. Yeah. Which is, it's fake. You just have to believe it because they said to you. Yeah. Or not because they showed you what it is. But, but you, you believe. It's played devil's advocate. You, you believe people that are telling you your information based on facts. No one tells me my uh, my information. It's stuff that I can actually observe myself and. So and you've observed produce. the actual Earth. I've. You've yeah, been I've up in space. The, uh, no, I've observed. No, curvature. you've observed them destroying. He says he's observed no curvature. No curvature. There's no proof of curve. Because it's locally flat. No, it's always flat. There's also no spin. There's no spin. And you can use all kinds of sprees here. How, what, what experiment can you do at home Watch to prove? Sun. It just means the, the sun, sun is moving, dude. That doesn't prove the sphericity of the earth, man. Yeah. The sky does not prove that we live on a ball. The sun... The yeah. sun moves, dude. You can yeah. observe the sun yeah. moving. Yes. So you're assuming so, that we spin to create the sun... No. What ...appearance saying, of it moving. What I'm saying is we have different... Who says we stuff? Who's we? I have. Okay, yep. let's I be have, more you specific. Have, you have experience. How do you know what I've experienced? Because you told me you've been out of the U.S. Yep. You've been to Thailand. Yep. So you've experienced different weather and different climates. It doesn't prove we're on a ball, man. The different Could you get to the point of curvature and us climates living on a sphere? Are made by the sun hitting the earth and the wave if it were to hit a flat object. Uh huh. Right? Yep. And if you were to take a, if you were to take a flashlight, does the right. shadow of the skateboard ever get bigger than the skateboard mm -hmm. that you're holding? Does the shadow of the skateboard ever get bigger than the skateboard that you're holding? Okay. But if you keep it from not turning, because if you turn it, it's going to look like a sheet of yeah. So you need to keep it straight and and keep it from not showing more shadow. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you got to go like this, right? So you can't, you can't go, you can't go like it's smaller and then twist it. No. Okay. So I mean, I see what you're trying to do, and that's fine. Yeah. But uh, this isn't proving the curvature of the Earth, man. No, it's proving that the shadow can get bigger. Okay. Yeah, well, you're twisting the skateboard, so yeah. this this obviously isn't going to work because yeah. there's a bit well, of so integrity, space. a little bit of integrity here. Yeah. I'm just saying, is there a, a an a, a yeah. Experiment that you can show us right now that the yeah. Earth is a sphere. Uh, right now, with the stuff that I have on me and my limited knowledge that I don't pursue in aerospace okay. or space of any kind, no. But there is a building that uh, could. Uh -huh. That's right over there. Uh huh. Sure. So I have to go to a temple or a church for them to tell me in their books of prophecy. And the prophets that are in there will yeah. tell me in the church how the earth is a sphere. Is that right? Well, with those words, sure. Okay. But, uh, so that's scientism then, then. Yeah. That's scientism. So, so you're believing in other people. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, because that's prophets right there. No, that's actually the No, that's, you just told me to point it over there. So that's the, that's that the temple. Direction. That's the temple I have to go to for your prophets to tell me. Well, that's where the lamps are. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And so if we were to if we were to observe the Chicago skyline from 50 miles away or a, a large body of water yeah. and see over the other side, right? And there should be about 1,500 feet of curvature. Okay, because of the circumference of the Earth and the equation 8 inches per mile squared yeah. that we're not taught in school, which is the curvature of the Earth, we shouldn't be able to at all see the skyline. No? No, but we do yeah. because of the curvature. There's no curve in the Earth. Is it not? No. Right. My question is why are you interviewing random people on the street mm -hmm. and not actual legitimate scientists and scientists for a living. Because they don't want to they don't want to talk religion. to us because they would lose their job if they observed it and then said that the earth was indeed a level motionless plane. Water's always level and there is no measurable curve to the earth. Because water always seeks its level in a contained environment. And since yeah. we're in a contained environment yeah. how are we in a contained environment? 
What is containment? Have, have you researched and or looked into said containment? Containment? Yeah. Food dynamics? No. No, okay. I don't study food dynamics. So I would encourage you to check it out. You know, I mean, I got it on the DVD and I got other information that yeah. if you're so inclined, it will change your paradigm, your worldview, yeah. spirituality, everything about who you are right David now. Spirituality. What's your name? What? What's your name? David. Joshua. I met David yesterday, right? Oh, His name is Jonathan. Jonathan. What a coincidence. I've seen you around a lot. Yeah, you always take a nap at the conference. <laughs> yeah. It's tiring work, this is. It truly is, man. It is, it's man. And, yeah. and so why we do interviews is to really... Being on camera kind of changes the whole dynamic of a conversation. Yeah. It brings, I think, more honesty out. Mm -hmm. And it, it allows people to talk and dialogue because people like being on camera. Yeah. I mean, it's just I kind of a psychological thing. I know. I appreciate you being on camera, though. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Well, I mean, you're on camera anyways, yeah. right? As, I mean, as we stated before. That's true. You know. But now I get to see the face of the person that's recording me. You do. Yeah, hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, you'll be able to go on the YouTube channel. Right. And just to kind of get, like, uh, What's the YouTube channel called? Authentic Intent. I gave you a, a card in there so you could check it out. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. And so we're just trying to get a, a good barometer of the public and really yeah. how they think about well, us yeah, you know, not really being given all the facts. Yeah. Is there a, let me, I've seen other other opinions and other sides to stories. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm not uh, not one way or the other. I'm pretty much anything. Sure. So, uh, does the economy uh, concern you at all? The economy concern me. Yeah. Oh, I talk about economics. Major. Come on, man. We don't need. You know what? That's a, that's an unfortunate thing that you've done that twice. That you divert your own personal experience or opinion and so on yeah. to somebody else who's supposed to have a degree and be smarter than you. Yeah. And I think that well, you're, you're selling you're yourself asking, a bit you're short. Asking, you know, the average show. I, why can't I ask you your opinion a without very, you very retorting to, I don't have a degree in that, I'm going to hold my tongue. That's, yeah. that's... Well, because I really don't have to think about it. I don't interact, oh, yeah, I interact with it, but not in a scale enough to really tell you what the state of the economy is. I go to a coffee shop, I pay my three dollars and I get a cup of coffee. I interact with the economy. There you go. That's my that's my opinion on that. How old are you again today? Me? David, yeah. I'm twenty. You're twenty. Okay. So it, it, I mean no offense, please don't take this on any offense or anything. I just think that you're kinda literally just skating by. Yeah. Right now. I mean that's really what I was doing. Yeah. And I, I'm glad that we were able to stop you and maybe this was uh, a oh, divine intervention. Nice this is divine intervention, yeah. you know, for you to come by because yeah, I think it's kind of time for you to wake up, man. Time for you to wake up. Yeah. Been... No, you're diet woke. I'm diet woke. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that either. I would rather be regular woke. Yeah. Well, that just depends on your definition of woke. What do you think about? Uh, is there any narrative that the United States government has told you that you're just like you know? I can't, I can't necessarily agree with that. After looking into what they're claiming, I have looked at the evidence and it seems to be leaning away from the narrative that they're feeding me. Is there any like topic that you could think of in the past? What narrative specifically? I, I I, I'm not going to give you one, man. you got to come up with one on your own. No, no lifeline here. Because there's about a dozen and I could name three in ten oh, seconds. Do it. Please, well, no, I want you to because yeah. I, I want you, I want to know what you, what you know. What I know? Yeah. So is there any narrative that the well, government has told us? I can tell you that you would not instantly rebuttal because all the information I've gotten is from a source that you don't agree with. There's not bad, bro. Okay. Yeah, can you... Bro. We can prove it to you in two minutes, man. I heard you're serious. It's pretty cool, though. So... <laughs> okay, how about, how about if I change the wording? Maybe yep. this would help you a little bit. Is there any conspiracy theory that you think is uh, true? Any conspiracy theory? Yeah. Well, I did have one guy I was talking to. Uh, I was writing a paper with him. He was talking about his friend that he met in prison uh, in Splenda. That Splenda uh, dump, like, numbs the brain and then the reptilians can take over. And yeah, yeah, right? I thought it was a crazy thing. Do you believe thing. in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? We're aliens. No, we're not. Yeah. Do you believe do you believe in life uh um, extra sure life? Sure. Why not? It's insane. So you believe this is a real picture of outer space? A satellite in outer space then, right? Possibly. Could be an artist rendition. 
Why do they need to take an artist's rendition of a satellite in space? If, sa if, if outer space is, yeah. is real, why does this need to be an artist's rendition? What? Well, because you're... You... I don't trust any picture you show me because you're of the opposite opinion. Well, I'm, I'm trying to be honest with you here, man. I'm, I, do you honestly think that I'm here to deceive you and and waste and and literally like come out here and deceive you guys into something that's not true? Is that is that what you think? About halfway. Yeah. You think that honestly? Yeah. Okay, then you should probably just move on, man. Yeah. Because I'm trying to really be honest with you. Yeah. And and open your mind. And if well, like if you want to reject it. Well, I'm not rejecting. No, you it. are because you're saying that I'm out here yeah. parading images that this is what you get when you google image satellites in space yeah. cgi painted images man yeah. and outer space is cgi painted images is it 100 mm -hmm. nobody has ever been to outer space they say that this is an artist rendition yeah. they also say that these images of america yeah. on the globe are, are like, paintings are paint they admit it themselves, they? man. NASA, NASA. The people who teach you this in yeah. your school. Okay. Your church. My church? Yeah, what's your my, church. What's my church? The American education system. American education. Scientism. So what's a better education system? Get a real job? That, that's your science, really? What's, Where a, do, what's a better education system? Uh, probably doing your own research and testing things yourself. Yeah when you're given information by the government and then investigating the opposite of what they tell you and then you have and then you have a better so, so idea of what truth of what is are telling me and you're getting pissed at me for what I'm being a hesitant about believing the facts that you're telling me at face value so I'm doing what you're doing right yeah, because now I'm, and because you're getting I'm, pissed about it yeah because those you're people for me to do it but they're getting upset when I do it you haven't done anything yeah no, you haven't. I've talked to you. I've listened to you. No, you haven't done any of your own research yeah. to dispute what I'm claiming. All you tell me to do is go over here somewhere yeah. in some temple building because you don't have the knowledge or the ineptitude to study. do it yourself. I don't study. I don't have an interest in it. I have an interest in computers. And so you should know that you, you get CGI images of outer space then. Sure. So how is it that you believe in extraterrestrials from outer space? See, if outer fantasizing. Give me a break, man. Did you just say Hollywood gives you your ideas of outer space? Well, it's not necessarily that I have any facts to pass it up, but I romanticize about it. You actually believe in aliens. Yeah. That's the whole point. You actually yeah. believe in aliens. I think it'd be kind of cool. It's not cool, man. No. Why not? They're demonic. Are they? Yeah, they are. Have you met them? You uh, saying they don't exist, but now you're saying they're demonic. So yeah, I, I, they you're are. Saying they exist. And they are. You've met them personally. I have met demonic entities. Yeah, I have. Entities. Yeah. So we're talking about demons. We get into religion. What religion are you following? Is it true? Is it not true? Do you know what religion is? What? Do you know what religion is? I hear people say religion, religion, religion all the time. Do you actually know what religion is? My definition of religion is a spiritual connection with everything around you, and you know, a sense of well-being and balance in the world. Okay, that couldn't be so. That couldn't be any more off base. Could be, oh, please, what do you think of the trails in the, of that airplane out there? You think it's normal? Oh, it's beautiful. You think that's a normal jet stream? Awesome. I say it's an arrow. They could be. I mean, Why? they are dissipating. You ever notice that they're there every day? Yeah. You think that's normal? I don't think any of this is normal. Why do we have cell phones? Why do we have... We, we, we walk on the country. What David, is, what is, what come on. Why are they flying planes over us all day, every day like that? Well, I mean, it's the same thing why we drive cars. Travel. No, they're not travel. That's not a commercial airplane right Is that now. not a commercial airplane? It's not a commercial airplane. How do you know airplane. that? Commercial airplanes don't need jet streams. They're not. No, no. no. You see the He's kind of saying there's a, there's a difference between contrails and chemtrails. Oh, okay. Oh, chemtrails. Yeah. Okay. Has that ever crossed your mind to look into that at all? Into chemtrails? Yeah. Not necessarily, no. No? No. And so, uh, what were we talking about? Outer space? Uh, I think we are talking about... Uh, Demons? Yeah. Oh yeah, religion, right, yep. right, yeah. And uh, you were really off base with your explanation. Uh, religion is the means to appease the worshipping idol that you have. Worshipping idol. Yeah, or, or the entity that you feel if you do something... Well, then my definition is correct. No, you have the to... The worshipping idol, idol is the 
connection between everybody and the you know natural world around us. Yeah, those are idols, though. Yeah, you're not. You're, you're, you're not. That's but, actually our base. Yeah. So you're doing that to appease the the god or the spirit no, through the, the through your works. Everybody around me. Through your works what that you works? do. Yeah. What are my works that I do? Uh, you know, whatever it is that you feel you should or shouldn't do, and you have no basis. My life. Yeah. So yeah. where do you so where I do you get your morality? My morality. Yeah. Well, society. It's the, the morality is basically, uh, you know, a construct of what a general population thinks is right and wrong. And that's about it. You know, if you go to different places, like you bet. Mm-hmm. I think morals and social norms are quite different in different places. Okay. So if everybody jumped off the bridge because it was morally right, would you jump off the bridge too? If I was growing up in that society, probably yeah, I would see that as a good thing. Just kind of going along with everybody else, man. It doesn't seem like you have any independent thought. Oh, really? I mean, it's just kind of real quick, you know, yeah. just shooting from the hip. So, you're saying that if there was a social norm in a society that you were raised from birth to jump off a bridge, that it was deemed that that was the thing to do, you would be so, you know, I would severely question it. You'd be yeah. like, yeah, this is not the right thing to yeah, do. Yeah, I would. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, not at all. No. I do, I do find self-preservation, you know, important. So I'm just, I'm, I was just saying that you go along with the social norms. No, you don't. Up. No, you don't. No? No. You can. So if you I certainly can. So social norm, you'll immediately reject it and do the opposite. I would question the... social norm of the society that you are in, local to you. I would question so it against... The social norms of the society that you locally are in, which goes against the broader social norms. Yeah, like what we're doing right now, talking yeah. about Flat Earth. So you go along to the social norms in the society that you are in. Thus, you are doing what you say you don't do. I'm not going along with the globe idea no, you're in going outer along space. No, you globe idea, which is a society, the local society that you are a member of. What society would that be? The one that goes against the globe. It's not a society, dude. Yeah, it's- it's not. It's it's true. It's fact. But you're going along with it. There's a group of people. No, it's not going. Go it's not a fad, man. It's not going along yeah. with people. It's being told that we live on a ball Earth when we're young, right? Yeah. Okay. And then finding and seeing and observing and experiencing experiments that yeah. show otherwise. Okay. And then you have to get rid of what is false, yeah. which would be the sphere earth in outer space idea yeah. and gravity being a real theory and something that actually exists a theory. and then it doesn't no how do we stay down here i mean see you can skate whenever you want can't you no 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 how are we staying to this do you, feel, do you feel stuck right now pulled down or anything like do you feel weighted down separate from like feeling depressed or anything like do you feel Does like weighed down? yeah yeah you feel weighed down a little bit yeah Backpack. How is the air moving freely? For right backpack, now? Says weird like that. Hmm? Uh, it's <laughs> His muscles. Gravity is oh, yeah. a lot stronger. His muscles are stronger than gravity. It, over, it overcomes the spin of a thousand miles. Sphere and somehow it doesn't throw you off in outer space. Gravity's that strong. Is that how you ever escape the question? Can't. It's because gravity's light. Gravity's light? It's a lot. So what is it? Density? Density? Is helium a granny gravity device? Then the air? Yeah. I'm saying, am I more dense or are you more dense? You're more dense. We're we're not comparing. We're talking about the air around you, just like the skateboard. Yeah. Your watch, backpack. It has density. It has weight to it that would fall, make it fall to the ground. And then if we hooked up helium, what would happen if we hooked enough helium into a balloon to lift you off the ground? Does that mean that helium is an anti-gravity device? No. It doesn't? If I look at your knowledge, I would say that it would be equivalent to things of different uh, viscosities in the water. So you know how the little rises? Uh, okay. I like that. You like the air. So you, you have limited... Where did you get your, quote, limited... What's up, fellas? Where did you get your limited knowledge? Science experiment. 
a science experiment? Take a cup of water, add oil. What? Take a cup of water. Yeah? How does that prove the spherosity of the Earth? It doesn't No, it doesn't. Helium goes up. Well, relative to the abstract. For your sense. For my sense, because I don't, I don't believe in gravity. Is that right? Okay. So I have to think differently. I just, you're, you're a special case, David. I really appreciate you stopping by, man. I, I'm really thankful that you uh, engaged. And I hope that you check out the DVD, you know, when you're ready. And it, yeah, right. You know, pop it in with your family or friends, or if you ever go to YouTube, you can check out that YouTube channel too. So, yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, David. Skate on. Right, Hope to see you around here again. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see you guys around. I'll probably see you taking a nap. It's hard work, man. Oh. Good job, Especially with people who are down here. Thank you, man. <sighs> Oof. You know. I like your long pants, not wearing too short of shorts. <laughs> I think that guy just likes debating that. I think so too. I think he just was. To be interested in it, not in No, I think he was just trying to be a. You know, that's fine. You can't expect people to just, you know, hear anyways, that's for sure. Jump on board. You think some of these kids would have some kind of critical thinking or, you know. But uh, he certainly, you know, felt like he was boxing me into a corner quite a bit. You know? Like, uh, what do I do? Oh my gosh, she's uh, so much more intelligent than I am. But, 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 but gravity, bro. Gravity. Gravity for the win. How's the biking going on your level motionless plane, man? No? How's it going? She, she doesn't want to walk across. <laughs> I heard her say that uh, something about your sign and she rolled her eyes and now they're going to cross. They're probably going to go that way. Independent critical thinking offends. Not allowed. How's it going, man? Okay, terrific. Thanks. Has it ever crossed your mind that the sun moves and not the earth? No? All right, well, it has now. It has now. You're not spinning on a ball, man. Does make you want to cry? Does my sign make you want to cry? She feels so... flat. Round like a pizza. You're right. It's round like a penny. Do you just want to cry when you see people with, who don't think like you? Does it just make you want to cry? You just want to call your dad? You just want to call daddy right now? She's going to blog about it tonight. I saw somebody holding a flat earth sign like, oh my god, Becky. Look at that sign. It is like so big. It's fun though. It's fun though. Hitting them where it hurts too, because, you know, we can't be just like cowardly. Oh, they're laughing at us. We gotta be nice or else they won't be flat earthers. No. We can ridicule with the best of them. Research flat earth, fellas. Outer space is fake. Do you want to hear something new? I'm going to meet my friends for dinner, but... All right, talk about flat earth. Alrighty. Ask them about flat earth. Water being level, never curving around a spinning ball in outer space. Eating on that nice flat plate that looks just like the flat earth. <sighs> it's a really nice day, though. Ignition. Ig. 
recognition. And I do have that article with me about the Newsweek satellites not existing. 2015 article, so we can show that to people if they're so inclined. It's pretty damaging evidence. He laughs. He's so much better than us. You're so awesome. So Taking pride. You, you gotta wear longer running pants. <laughs> Taking pride in your education. <clears throat> One thing I found that this does is it puts the videos in the camera. So it won't let me like run a continuous stream. It like saves four gigabytes and then starts up another file immediately. I noticed that it kind of it can sometimes cut out for lengths of time. Been out here for about an hour. How long you wanna go for Yeah. What are you up to this week? <clears throat> uh, just working. So? Working out the yeah. yeah. It's just windy, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, to just go out on Wednesday for, for a, give it a, a day, do it for a day. I'll text you if you're up to going out. Those aren't related things, dude. I'm just saying you're stupid. Right. Stupid? You're something else. Same calling? <clears throat> Pro prove to yourself you live on a globe, dude. <clears throat> prove it to yourself. <clears throat> Keep walking away while yeah. you talk. Yeah, just walk away, dude. You have nothing. You have no evidence. Keep walking away. A church called school tell you it's a ball. You are in a religion called scientism. Prom ready to be fake alien invasion. That one right here. We got your cameras right there. This is what you have developed. These sheep. To just do whatever you tell them. Good work. Good work. Nicely done. Hey, you. Hey, you with the face. Can't see it. Hey, you with the face. Ladies, how you doing? Good. Terrific. Has it ever crossed your mind to investigate flat earth? Oh, I love flat earth. I, I can I hear it. I can hear it in your... You're so convincing. Prove yourself you live all day without ace. Without having ever done it. You live in a religion, young lady. You'd be so much more attractive if you uh, opened your mind. How's it going, man? I hope you don't think you're, you know, a rebel or anything. Flat Earth is the ultimate red pill. That's, that's really how you go against the man. Certainly not wearing a bandana. He's smiling. He's smiling. Oh yeah. You gotta wear long though. How you doing, man? Good. Terrific. Have you proved to yourself you live on a spinning ball in outer space yet? No. no? Well, you might want to do that. It's kind of important. Kind of important, you know. Hey, do you guys believe in aliens? Um, on occasion, yeah. yeah. Just yeah, over, just overall, you do believe in extraterrestrials, though. Sure. Okay. 
Outer space isn't real though. It's all CGI and paintings. Do you guys believe in aliens? Why? Because you've been lied to about the shape of the earth, that's why. It's diet, say diet woke. You guys aren't even close to woke. Yeah, you're still drinking like diet caffeine free woke. Yeah. What, you got any other memes you can throw at us? No, that's about it, huh? Probably those dogs probably got better material than you coming out their rear end. You believe in the aliens is the ultimate Would you, though, concur that you get most of your outer space ideas from Hollywood and movies and TV? Astronomy class, yeah. They teach you aliens there too? Yeah, they teach you that you're not significant and you are. The sun and the moon revolve around you, man. This isn't my. F hey, guy. Hey, you with the face. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. You believe in aliens? Extraterrestrials. Yeah, they're not real. No, they're not. Outer space isn't real, man. It's a painting given to you by Hollywood and NASA. That was pretty good, man, right off the top of my head. You're drinking Diet Coke, caffeine-free, Diet Woke. That's pretty, that's pretty fun. The Earth is flat. Come talk to me. Two minutes. That's all we need. Really? Hey, is the earth spinning or is the sun moving? You tell me. Google it, he says, huh? Typical response. How's it going, young lady? Hey, has it ever crossed your mind that the sun is revolving around you and not the earth? No? Well, check out Flat Earth, all right? Be the best thing you ever did. How's it going, man? Hello. Where are you from, dude? Where are you off to? Netherlands. I'm going to study, study group. Where study group? From? Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. I'm from, uh... Germany. No, Minnesota. You're from Minnesota? Suburbs, yeah. All right, on, man. Where are you from? Uh, Minnetonka. Minnetonka? Yeah. Satellites don't exist. Satellites don't exist, yeah. Have you ever seen one with your own physical eyes? Like going in the sky? Yeah. Light. A light, okay. Let's, Which could be anything, right? Yeah. I mean, it could be a balloon. Yeah, it could, yeah. it could be a drone. Possibly. Could be experimental. What? You believe in aliens? Yeah. Like extraterrestrials from another planet. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe not, you know, not like a green, one-eyed thing walking around, but just the white out there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> because I believe in aliens. Just us, man. Why no satellites? Well, it's just part of the deception. Because we have, I actually have an article right here if you wanted to, you know, check it out. Um, it actually tells you, I, mean, I can't leave it with you, but in, yeah. in there it does say the first paragraph that all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. Yeah. Balloons. High altitude balloons, drones, sure. and so on. It's a 2015 Newsweek article. So why do we need satellites if we have all our communication done through ground towers and fiber optics? GPS. Do you know what GPS stands for? Global. No. A ground positioning system. So if you get like probably three towers together, they can pretty much triangulate your position. You don't need satellites to do that. Okay. You know how you can navigate through GPS on the ocean? Satellites. You ever know you know what buoy you know what buoys are? Yeah. Yeah, what if like I was to set out like buoys every fifty miles or so from each other? You could probably navigate the ocean. Probably could navigate the ocean. Yeah. I I'll get this DVD for you. Sure. Check it out. Flatter. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out. 
What do you think about like water's characteristics inside of a container? What does it usually do? Level out. Levels out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what about the ocean? Does it change with the oceans? Does water change with the ocean? Yeah, does the, what you just said, water it finds its level. Okay, yeah. Right? The ocean would stay level. Would it stay level? So how is it, if you just said that and they tell us we live on 71% of the earth is water, how is it that you live on a sphere spinning a thousand miles an hour in outer space? Because... Don't say the G word, man. Don't say it. What's the word? Don't even say it. All right, good work. Good work, man. Hey, right on. So how is it that... I wonder what the G word is. I know. Yeah, you'll see it eventually. So how is it that if water if water's always level and seeks its level? Wait, do you not believe in the G word? No, man. Well, then what's what? What? It's a theory, man. If you if it was real, you wouldn't even be able to skate. You wouldn't be able to skate anywhere because you'd have to you'd have to be stuck. The force that force would be so strong to keep you from flying off the spinning ball. You'd be stuck, dude. You'd be seat belted. Yeah, that's pretty. Weird. I mean, we kind of are. You're well, not. not. Well, you can move, but you I can can't. Freely move. I can't go more than moves. like a foot. Well, you're talking about jumping. I'm talking about you can skateboard. You wouldn't be able to move. Yeah. You got I, all the freedom of motion. You want. So do the waters in the ocean. All the all the oceans would be a solid mass to keep from flying off the spring ball. I guess. It's just we're we're a little bit more deeper into it, you know, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. than where you're at. I'm, I'm just starting. Hey, the earth is flat, man. Not a ball. Check it out. Do you feel... How come you can't feel that with your magical force? Gravity? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I can't there it is. Is it, is it a bad word to you? That's just kind of... It's kind of like, but, but, but the Bible. Right? Wouldn't you say? What is? I mean, like, if you kind of think about it, it wouldn't it kind of be the answer to all... Like, the God of Gaps is gravity? Like, if you don't have an answer to something, you could just say, but gravity. Couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, let's be real here. We're talking man to man, right? Like Bible. Jesus Christ is God. So you compare gravity to the Bible, but you say gravity is. I'm using that as a means. I'm using that as a means of an argument in terms of dogmatic. Yeah. Did you know? Did you know that in the Bible, at least 50 times more, but at least 50 times it talks about the Earth being a level, motionless plane, not spinning. And in Joshua, that he stops the sun. How can he stop the sun if the earth is traveling around the sun? Do you know that Joshua stops the sun? I mean, no, I didn't. Well, okay. Maybe, so he, like, freezes the sun? Yeah, it, like, stops, like, I think for, like, three days. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's a matter of making your beliefs. <laughs> goes around the sun instead of the sun around the earth. What so if the what if the sun it. moves around the earth? Yeah. You believe in the resurrection of Jesus the Christ? Not so much anymore. I did a lot growing up, but okay. that's the uh I mean probably the exact answer you want me to say. <laughs> Education and yeah, science. Education. Education guy, yeah? Did you know that I'm I'll no, you didn't know, so I'll tell ya. I was a flat earther before I knew that God tells the earth is level motion and not spinning in the Bible. So then you read it in the Bible. So then I read in the Bible and I was like, wow, like it was like reaffirming my natural feelings about where we live. Sure. And so that's, I can encourage you with that. I do have some information this is why they came up on that DVD. So if, 
If the earth is flat, what happens when you get to the edge? Can I, sh I show you an illustration that's not 100% but it helps new people? Yeah. Okay. Is. This isn't like 100% uh, agreed upon by everybody understand. who, who understands the flat earth. Nations. Yeah, it's like the USGS, they <laughs> use this. This is the United Nations. Use this, uh, the USGS uses this app, but it's not my total, you know, 100%. I okay. mean, so, um, just do Well, God does call it darkness. Yeah, I mean, I, I see where you're coming from, but I'm saying, like, for him to understand where is he getting his ideas from. And so, if, if we're trying to if we're trying to use the word to explain what the firmament and outer space isn't, I guess it's I'm just trying to... Tra traversable space. Yeah. Like okay. There's a video. There's actually a video. Yeah. So that's the that's the firmament liquid. That that's the waters saying? above the waters. Yeah. I'm catching on. Yeah, right on, man. <laughs> well, let me just show you this illustration. Like I was saying, like yeah. this isn't like for sure, but it, it definitely helps. You mind holding that? It's yeah, a bit windy. Yeah. So, um, so like the seasons and the moon and the sun and the moon yeah. moving around the Earth. This is just hype, you know, hypothetical. Totally. But uh, let's say that my finger is the sun and it, it's moving, maybe a hundred miles or so. Yeah, above the earth and it just spins around like that and so now now the sun is i know right i could say the same thing about you and so the sun is spinning around at a tight formation to create summer right now yeah so now in the winter time it'll expand spin around like that yeah and so this is antarctica the ring that holds water in that's the container so let's say there's a dome above us we can't go anywhere. But what happens when you get here? You tell me. The dome you would cover keep going because it's just no, it's, side the other side. Dome, that's what it's the earth. No, it's a it's it's a possible infinite <laughs> plane, you, man. You tell me, this is your deal. No, no, I don't know. I just what? got. Didn't I just say before I even showed the illustration that helps understand a flat Earth? Yeah. Right? Okay, okay. 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 And but so, you, but you've never done Antarctica. It's like the minute of what you're calling outer space now. What's that about outer space? How are they yeah. to measure the infinite of outer space? No one knows because no one's ever okay. even close to that. Let's say you come up this wall here, right? Yep. Let's just say we all went on an excursion and the government allowed us to do this. Yeah. Because there is an Antarctic treaty that we cannot as civilians do what I'm going to tell you us that we can do. Okay. We come up here, the wall continues just to keep going and it just goes on infinitely. Okay. And then let's say, let's say that there's another pod, you know, 60 miles out and we find another land, bunch of land mass after we traverse the ice and the water. Okay. Could they, could, could their motive, okay, hypothetical, government try and contain us in here to keep us away from the extra resources, land and water? I mean, hypothetically, sure. Okay. How do we get around? What do you mean? How do we navigate? Like, if I was, How? if I was here in California to fly to Thailand, I would just go that. And if I wanted to circumnavigate, I would just start here and go around the neighborhood no, in a do, boat. How do, how do we navigate right now? What is the mean? That we it's called ground positioning system, GPS. Global positioning system. Okay, you need to do some more research, okay, and bud? That uses satellites. It's the way that we navigate ships. So, do you think, for yes, example, that's the way that all of our marine traffic works. is? Are you sure about that's that? Why you can What's a buoy? The internet in other countries. What's a buoy? What do you mean? What's a buoy, man? It's a it's a clear question. What is a buoy? Define what you mean by. Buoy. Let me. You're probably gonna just spin it. The general narrative for a buoy, if you were to Google it, is an object in the middle of the ocean okay. to identify basically what. Because the ocean is large, and so if I was to put a buoy that had Wi-Fi technology from a high altitude balloon, a hundred miles above it. So it's all balloons. The the United States NASA uh, organization, if you will has a bigger balloon program than they do a shuttle program. And they launch high altitude balloons all the time. I'm well aware. <coughs> okay. I've seen the data. That and they launch know. high altitude balloons that people unfortunately interpret as these. Satellites. Yeah, so so what do we see at night then? What's going what, over? What do you see? It's a good question. What do you see? see satellites. You see lights in the sky. Can we be honest here? Talking man to man, you see lights in the sky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So how is it that that can be interpreted as this? From those. Those are lights in the sky, man. That doesn't mean that that's an orbiting satellite. That's a picture on a sheet, man. Yeah, you're right. This is what you get when you Google image satellites in space. You get paintings and CGI. What is this? Looks like a satellite. Looks like a satellite. Where is it? It's a picture of a satellite on the ground. Can we be serious? Okay, this is a satellite on the ground, and this is what they tell us a satellite in outer space looks like. 100% pictures right here, man. Google it. Why would they put the same thing up on the ground? This is on the ground, man. Yeah, why would they put why would they put the same thing up on the ground? Because they're trying to tell you that this is what they put up in outer space. And when you want to find this, this is all you get. So is it on the ground? So two pictures of satellites that are different. Google it, dude. What's, Google satellites in space. I dare you. How does, okay. How does the moon work? How does that orbit? Do you it would you say the general consensus here is the moon reflects the sun's light? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you say the general consensus here is that the Earth does not cause the f moon phases, but the the angle of the sun hitting the moon causes the moon phases? Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. Kind of our perspective. Yeah. Okay. What if I was to tell you that the moon emits its own light, and when you actually get a magnifying glass during a full moon, like tonight, and you get a thermometer, and you let the water sit with that uh, magnifying glass cooling the water it will actually be cold light and not hot like the sun does that make sense moon emits cool light. yes sir is it still photons uh, I, I'm not sure what it is what's cool light Just like it, yeah, it's like when you're wearing Zubas and you're got a so that's why it gets cool light right I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm bringing the information to you, yeah. and however you want to interpret it is going to be what your worldview is shaped around at the moment. Okay. So when you investigate this idea, maybe your worldview might change a little bit towards like, okay, so why do they teach us the opposite in school? And that might lead you towards a more spiritual relationship with the Creator that created you, me, Him, so, and all humans. So maybe, maybe the government. Hypothetically, maybe the sure. government is hiding the Earth's sphere and it's flat. What about private organizations? Like I got this here for you, too. I got a YouTube channel. What about you don't care. No. They're okay. all working together. They're it's compartmentalization. Like with the government? Yeah. Just because he wants to go to space? Do you know what, do you understand what compartmentalization is? Okay, so if, if, if all five of us, or four of us here, we worked in one building, I worked in that building, John here worked in that building, and you worked in that building, and we were all doing different things, like I created a microchip, you created a fin, he created guidance system, and he created the paint that would go on objects, okay? That's called compartmentalization because all of four of us are creating an item to be put in a one object. Do you think that if people... Can I just finish my thought here? Can I just finish my thought here? Can I just finish my thought? Can I just finish my thought? Not really, don't really care to hear what you have to say since you don't really care to hear this conversation. So, talking to our friend here, Drew. And so, if all four of us were to put this object into a cruise missile that then was brought over to Syria to kill people, do you think that we would, if we knew that, do you think we would still be part of that, uh, that compartmentalization job that we have? Of assembling a missile. Assembling like, a missile, yeah, to go kill people. I mean, me personally, probably not, but a lot of people A lot of people yeah. would, okay. Yeah. And what if those people sign non-disclosure agreements uh, to do that, and they just couldn't talk about what they actually do? Yeah. Do you think that exists? Yeah. Okay. I'd say that probably exists. Yeah, because it does. Non-disclosure agreements do exist. So you're saying the same thing with like SpaceX and all their employees. Yeah. All the people who watch the Falcon 9 um, rockets that get lifted off, guess who those people are? Employees. It's not just Tom, Dick, and Harrys that can go up there. You have to be an employee of SpaceX to go actually see a Falcon 9 launch. I mean, you can see it from like miles and miles away. You have seen it from miles and miles away. Okay. 
I'm just going off of what you experience. Okay. Not what you've seen on TV, YouTube, or anything. And so, we're just trying to encourage you to, to rethink what you've been taught. Okay. And to understand that just because you're moral compass, and, and yeah. you feel like you're a good person, good and you don't want to do anything wrong, that doesn't mean... Good to challenge it. Yeah. Um, so, if it's not gravity, what's holding us down? Well, like John said, it's just... It's good right now, man. It's density and buoyancy in water. Up. The wind moves freely. But density is based on gravity. Not gravity you know. Well, not density. Gravity. I mean, if you say there's no gravity, it really throws a lot of years of... Like, it's a theory, though, man. It is, but like a lot of science is based on gravity. <laughs> on, on, an, a, on a false foundation. Zero science is based on gravity except the spinning ball. Uh, you can still fly a plane. You can still fly a plane. No. Yeah, yeah, you can. Really yeah, you can. Did you know that gyroscopes prove a flat Earth? Gyroscopes are a mechanical device. Okay. And you trust it when you're flying in clouds. Okay. Okay? So if you were flying in all cloud cover for hundreds and hundreds of miles, do you trust your instruments? I would trust my instruments. You would yeah. trust your instruments, right. So yeah. when you're in an airplane and it's using a mechanical device called a gyroscope and it's always staying level, you know, like that that uh, that bullet point, you know, that uh, yep. you know bullseye that looks like a bullseye to keep your wings level with the horizon, yep. you're trusting your instruments. When do you ever feel like you would be putting the throttle forward to make sure that you're adjusting for the curve every 70 miles? Well, that's it's like gravity that changes. It's always pulling you towards the center, so you're always, I, I don't know, man. So let's go back to what we were talking about, the, physi questions. the physics of water. Remember what we were talking about? Yeah, yeah. When water's in a it's container, always it's always level. So how would, how would, yeah, it is. Water comes up. Who are you again? You don't care. You don't care about this conversation. No, I do. you a card to go look up information on your own time and you refused it. I'm not pushing anything. I became a flat earther before I saw it in the Bible. I was I was doing type this type of stuff before I really understood that it was in the Bible. People so known that the earth was round since Round like a penny, right? No, no. Oh, okay. In can you can you use the proper vernacular? Because round can mean two different so things. It can mean penny or sphere. The earth is an oblate sphere right? I do want you to say that, yeah. So that's what it is. Okay, so why is it that there's pictures of Earth being a perfect circle sphere? How do you take a picture of it? Because the Earth is closer to being a sphere. Now you're just you're just BSing me, man. You have no idea. No, I do. You've never you've never taken this picture. You've never seen this with your own physical eyes, man. Come on. So anything that you don't see with your eyes is fundamentally untrue. Should questioned. Severely. So what about like, Well, there's the a difference about questioning severely. You can see all that stuff. But it's still pretty good. You can see Have you Jesus seen being resurrected. Oh, like that? Well, that's for sure. A problem admitting that's faith. Just as long as you have faith, picture genuine photos of Earth from outer base. Yeah, I mean, I'm trusting other people that it's... Okay, then why is it that America is two different places and two different photos, which are genuine of photos? Come on, man. Come on. Because different cameras change the way So all all ten photographs that they've taken over the last fifty years, all different. You can see live views from the ESA. You can, and those you believe that's a genuine, real, live. Yeah, why don't you any airplanes traveling? Uh, well, airplane. Well, it seems that satellites are big enough for us to see them from here. So why is it that we can't see them from the ISS? <laughs> Come on, man. There's over 5,000 satellites in quote orbiting Earth right now, with 20,000 pieces of 2009.
satellite crash. So 5,000 the entire Earth is a vast amount. It's like bees around a nest. But you can see them from it's Earth, like, though, right? It's like part of the Then why can you see them from here? From Earth? Because they reflect light. Oh my gosh. The sun is reflecting the satellites to, make, to present the light while the sun is on the opposite side of the Earth when it's rotating? Who said that? No. Well, then where, uh, what are they reflecting? I don't have every answer. Okay, well, then you should probably carry on. Uh, well, I mean, you don't stand on a university campus and not expect to be like I don't, I don't expect you, but you said verbatim, I'm not interested. In your YouTube channel, that doesn't mean I can't talk to you, can it? It kind of does. Why? Well, because we're, I'm offering you physical evidence for you to go physically do yourself and experiments that you can do yourself to show and prove to yourself that you live on a ball in outer space. And you don't. Water finds its level. The curvature calculation is eight inches per mile squared. Standing from one part of Lake Michigan and seeing the Chicago skyline 50 miles away creates 1,500 feet of curvature. The entire skyline of Chicago should not be seen except the top two or 300 feet of the Willis Tower. And there's dozens of people who have pictures and video to show that at 146 miles away, you can still communicate with 50 foot ground towers. There's no curvature, man. It doesn't exist. You've been lied to. You need to wake up, man. I, I've got a question here. What about uh, like weight, weightlessness in the International Space Station? The videos of astronauts throwing Cheerios around. And sure. Have you seen the movie Gravity? I have seen the movie Gravity. It's the same stuff, man. It's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. How, how do they... Okay. You know what a vomit comet is? Yeah. Okay. It's a parabolic flight. Okay. Okay. You right. can do that all day, man. Okay. You also oh, got augment. You also got augmented reality. That's augmented reality. It's okay, on the so disc. It's just all CGI video editing. I got the disc. You can look at the evidence and go from there. We can't see. The thing is, is we're trusting what they give us as information through video, right? So, like, we have to take that information for what it's worth and nitpick it yep. and say, okay. Are you guys really where you say you are? And through the investigation and the evidence provided, which I gave you, Drew, check it out. Hello. Harnesses, mm -hmm. CGI, green screen, augmented reality, parabolic flights. Mm -hmm. Such deception, man. Okay. They're probably like 10 miles up in the air. I mean, seriously. You know? So how big is the dome? I have no idea. Where's God? Where's who? Where's God? God controls the dome, right? Uh, I'm not sure, man. It's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, Is it, wait, why'd you guys pick uh, Sunday to come here? Uh, we come here almost probably three or four times a day. Three or four times a week. Oh, really? Yeah. So it just happens to be Sunday. So. How many viewers you got? Uh, I'm recording just and then I'll upload it. Yeah. No, not yet. But uh, I do have a card from my YouTube channel so you can check out the video. Try to, try to just get more informed. Do you happen to know the circumference of the Earth at all? No. But you, you would say that you kind of believe that you live on a spinning ball in outer space, right? Well, I know. It's a good answer. But I don't think we live on it. You don't? If we live on a flat Earth, then... That's like, what's everything? I don't understand. If you live in infinite space, then you have like, you guys believe that there are other planets, right? Because, like, you can see a planet with a telescope. Yeah, it's lights, it's lights in the sky, man. Would you say you've gone to flat? Come, you, that, 
How about how about uh, no? I'm trying to say I'm trying to reiterate the fact that you studying the sky doesn't prove to you or anybody here that the Earth is a ball in outer space. Okay. Have we? What's we? I've never been there, so no, I've never been there before. Uh, the evidence reveals that I would say no. I don't know, man. If if that's where you want to mock and ridicule and say it's a conspiracy, that's fine. But how do you guys you guys think we're mocking and ridiculing when we say? Well, I mean, you're coming up with like the general, like uh, typical responses. And so, that doesn't prove that the Earth is a sphere, though. There's a point on the moon, though, that we know we can mirrors, and we can bounce a laser from the Earth off that point and measure how far the moon is going away How do you know that? How far is it moving away from us? No, because... Because I've seen... It's just we stuff. It's just, like, this is just profits and stuff. Round like a penny. No, 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 no. You can prove it here, man. there was curvature, or you can prove it was that it's round. So how do you, you were stuck and unable to move because of gravity. Why do you guys believe it's flat? You haven't seen it. I just told you, man. <laughs> you know, Flat Earth 101, Drew, like I said before, remember? Water. What are the characteristics of water? When it's in its contained environment, it seeks its level, right? That's not like the it's just like a piece of evidence for your case. So if... <laughs> at what point does water to a ball then? At what height do you have to be to observe water sticking to a ball? Because if I got a bottle of water and he held a tennis ball and I dumped the bottle of water on the tennis ball, what's the water going to do? Let's be real here, guys! Okay, so at what height do you have to be to observe Water sticking to a ball spinning a thousand miles an hour. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred miles. Prince of the Earth is just under twenty-five thousand miles, is it not? Come on, you believe in a ball? If I would date her a year and I didn't know her birthday, bad, right? How do you not know as a human being? Take pride in where you live. That's just indoctrination and it's repeating, man. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, it is. But with the curvature calculation of 8 inches per mile squared, right, water always seeking its level, and us not being able to really come to a, seems like, a conclusion of how you have to observe water sticking to a ball, you should have, after 50 miles, 1,500 feet of curvature, looking at the Chicago skyline. And you see the entire skyline, man. Because there is no curve. The Chicago skyline should be at an angle like this. At least it should be somewhat noticeable. Why can't we see China? Atmosphere, and you can't see forever, man. Is that not a reasonable answer? So if we went, if we went high enough up to With the horizon rising to your eye level? How high can you go? Yeah, I mean, uh, how are you going to see with, with the clouds and the atmosphere and everything in your way? So you have to go up. How high do you have to be to see the curve, man? If you can't see it here on Earth, how high do you have to be to see it? At what? So you're saying, so you've been on a commercial, have you been on a commercial airliner? Like 40,000 feet or so? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that some of those windows are actually curved to create the illusion that you that the Earth is curved? Could that be a possibility? No, it's because they pressurized the pressure. Okay. All right. And so. Okay, that has nothing to do with the windows, man. So you think they spent the extra dollars to curve windows? What? The whole world is in on this too, right? Yeah, the United Not Nations. just the United States government. Yeah, the United because every airplane has one government. Every everybody uses these windows. Yeah. Because it's for safety. Do you, do you know? Do you know what uh, a fisheye yeah, lens is? Games, 
Truman Show. And the Truman Show, like it's all. I think I think we could be living in like a simulation. Or some shit. I don't know if it's flat. Oh, be careful with that. It's an endless universe, and that it's all explode. Even though you've never done it before. Exactly. So you're trusting in other people who have been shown to be compulsive liars. Well, could have done it until like the 1960s. Yeah, and why haven't they done it yet? Did you know that uh, Russia was the first to do most of the things to outer space, sending people and so on and so on? And then yeah, because they didn't care if the back. Okay. And then America was the first one flawlessly to land on the moon six times, and Russia never did it. No other country verified the evidence. I mean, isn't that science to verify what somebody else is doing? So why didn't anybody else but America land on the moon? Yeah, right? They wanted to build McDonald's on there? I mean, let's be real here, guys. Come on. Why didn't they ever land back on the moon? And why is it that they tell us that all the technology to do so was destroyed? There are no aliens, man. There are no aliens. Please get that out of your mind. It's not, though. It's not. You've been indoctrinated into that thought life. They have the whole world believing in aliens. That's ridiculous. How do we have the money for all the lights for billions of stars? And then how do the lights work? These companies get $52 million a day, man. <laughs> like, how do they make the lights where if you zoom in on a spot on a telescope, there become more? more work. How are there? More how are there lights in the sky when Galileo is looking through his telescope? There's still lights in the sky. There's just lights, lights in the sky, man. No, they're just there. So they're, they're They've just, been like, there. It's not like government put them there. It's just they're there. They've been there, man. God put, them there. God put the lights. The there. sky, the stars. Fifty-two million dollars a day. Yeah, NASA gets fifty-two million dollars a day. Yeah, but I thought you just said NASA put them there. I didn't say NASA put them there. Come on. At them for 500 years. Yeah. And how come for what's this we stuff? You haven't been looking at them. You're taking somebody else's word that that's what they've been doing, and they tell you that. It's faith. It's just more. It's just more faith, man. It's called scientism. You know. Just don't understand. Type that. Type that into YouTube. No, this is observable. I just told you an experiment that we could all do together. You don't have to be an expert. Why are you why are you selling yourself short, man? Why are you selling yourself short? Why are you saying, oh, I don't have that degree, I'm not that smart, I can't observe that the earth is a level motionless plane. You can do this yourself, man. It is observable. I just gave you the cur curvature calculation and the circumference of the earth, man. You need to get that through your head and, and understand. I, I'm not expecting you to take my word, but if you were so inclined, I would encourage you to look this up yourself and prove me wrong. Wouldn't that be great? Because him and I are here three or four times a week. And so you'll find us and say, hey, I looked up what you told me to, and you're a liar. I want you to say that on camera and come find me through the next three or four months while I do this and say, I looked up the curvature calculation and that's wrong. The Earth is not 24,900 or 600 miles in circumference. How is it that... <coughs> Did you know that you can circumference the Earth on a, on a flat Earth? Do you know that you can circumference the Earth on a flat Earth? Yep. Yeah, you go, you just kind of go around your neighborhood. So, Antarctica is like a lot of ice. Yeah, it's kind of like surrounding us. So that's the UN flag. It is actually the legitimate UN flag. And this is the same map that the USGS uses too for their naval and airline so if somebody took travel. An expedition, if you guys took an expedition to Antarctica. Which is not possible. On South Georgia Island is where we went to start on the northern tip, came out on the southern tip, and you ended up on wherever it really goes. Would you guys be proven wrong? 
I, appre I appreciate your vigor and stuff, but you need to investigate what the Antarctic Treaty is first to have a better understanding of what it is us as civilians are able to do with Antarctica, okay? There's an Antarctic Treaty, okay, with over 50 countries. Oh, yeah, it's closed off, man. You can't go there. Is that fishy? How are they going to stop you? Have you tried? They have multiple people have claimed to have allegedly tried, yeah, and they've been either shot or turned around. It just so happens you can't go to the end. I haven't, no. Uh -huh. How do we know? Just so we don't know, and I and I can accept that. And I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not here to have a pissing contest with you guys. Yeah. Okay. Let's be real here. Okay. I'm not trying to say I know all the answers. I'm just telling you what I've read. Okay. And I take that with a certain part of discernment that maybe you're not able to get to at this moment because the information that I'm giving you right now is new. I think we should try to get air I would rather go to the North Pole, to be honest with you. That's just me, personally. That's the center. That's the center. All compasses point to the north, right? Yeah, but you couldn't, like, cross the North Pole. Well, how do you hold a compass? Can you, can you explain to me how you would hold a compass? It's really simple. You just, I have, show me, show me how you hold a compass. Okay, how do you hold it? Do you hold it level to the ground, or pointing to the ground, or pointing to the sky? Like, how do you hold it? Correct. And is that needle that's pointing north, is that, is north Australia? No, you have to decline it because it's a point in the north. Okay. Atlantic. So if I was so based to based on where we are in the United States. So if I was to use this map, for example, I don't know, on a flat earth, and it was pointing north, could we properly circumference the earth on a flat level, motionless plane? Or how the water finds its level? So now with now with the now with just the compass. Okay. You need to know your declinations and okay. So and you're not qualified? You are, okay, so we could do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we would have to change it based on where we are. Okay. In order to figure out which way is north. Okay. Because north is not here. How do you north know that? Here. How do you know that? Because what you measure as north can change based on where you are. Okay. And are, are you thinking of a spherical earth right now? Is that in your head? No, I'm thinking of the point where magnetic field. Mag what mag? I'm thinking mag Okay. Okay. And so if we were to, if we were, but we could traverse a flat with knowing what the magnetic north is, then, right? Hey, man, thanks for stopping by. Comment section on the YouTube, man. You but that, but again, like that, that we could do that on a, a level motionless plane, not just on a sphere. Do you agree with what I just showed you as an illustration of a flat Earth? Where's the other the magnet? It's just the north, man. Why does there have to be? See, that's another thing. No that's why I asked you the no question. That's why I asked you. You're thinking of the ball earth. Some of, like, there is so much research. There's and I'm right now going into trying to make a monopole magnet. Mm -hmm. It can't be done right now. Okay. How does that so prove that we live in a ball? We live on a circle. Did you say point north and south at the same time? No, there is... There is a north and a south pole to every magnet. So a distinct one for every magnet? Isn't it the same north and south pole? I'm not sure what yeah, question you're asking. The, 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 the cups points in the same north and south pole. You sure about that? Yes. Okay. You you're, keep cutting a you're, magnet. You're hundred percent. You keep cutting a magnet. You will get two holes to every single magnet. Okay, and that's what—that's how this Earth was created—is by just cutting magnets to create. But those magnets holes? still point to the same North Pole. They don't 
don't have it. They don't each have a different point place. Magnets. Point of view. What are you, are you trying to say by magnets would point somewhere else? If you're saying not, that. No. You're saying each magnet has a distinct no, north saying, and south pole. I'm saying that, that you can have magnets beside Earth's dipole. So we trust compasses then, as no, you're saying. No, you can't have that. If magnet points north, the fish of south is the opposite a of north. A magnet doesn't have to be in a compass, though. No, but we have, ma we have magnets for all other stuff. Yeah, but and magnets can either attract or help. Right, because they have polarity. two sides. Yeah. Yes, there's always a north and south. Yeah, which means on a ball, magnets point in my circles, pointing lines. You know what I mean? It's pointing north to the po north pole and the south pole. It's not automatically in incorporating. The Semicircle. It's doing a pointing to straight lines, and as you move your magnet, it's a no, because it's straight line. Right? Point, point, and lines. So yeah. You point yep. at something. Yep. It does, you don't. If I'm pointing towards you, there's not, it doesn't curve. Like it's All right, you're so convincing. You should help us. You move with your magnet as you're pointing towards. I don't want to hold you up too much, Drew. Is there anything like you want to? Questions you got or anything? Not necessarily. I'm probably gonna head out. Soon. Yeah, I'll we'll check out the. Uh, I mean, yeah, just go into it with an open mind. I mean, how open-minded would you consider yourself to be? I I'm pretty open-minded. Like a nine? Either nine. I mean, that's pretty. Uh, that's an aggressive number. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I guess I'm not set on the Earth being sphere because you're right. I haven't seen it. But yeah. Right. Most evidence points towards it, but I am open to question it. What about like narratives that we've been offered in the past that you believe or that you disbelieve? You know, a conspiracy theory, moon landing, 9 11. Do you agree with the common narrative? Uh, I agree with it, but I definitely understand how it could be not real. I mean, yes. there's valid arguments to be made about it being fake, but it's not really my belief as of now. Okay, sure. You just kind of. Skating by, right? Yes. Yeah. Day to day. Yeah, right. One pizza at a time. Yeah. I guess I, 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 and this isn't something that I, you know, usually bring up. I only really bring it up when other people offer it. Yeah. <laughs> it does help your spirituality out know, quite a bit, man. It, it doesn't, it doesn't lend you to believe that, you know, yeah. excuse you. It doesn't uh, lend you to believe that. You know, God has created this infinite universe. You know, it's just this vast, you know, infiniteness, and we're insignificant. Yeah. We're quite important. I mean, literally, the sun and the moon revolve around us. Yeah. You're special, man. He died for us. He died for you. I would agree, yeah. You know, so, I mean, it, I just encourage you to I'll look into it. investigate him again. See me in the YouTube channel. So, yeah. See me in the comments. Yeah, right on, man. Take it easy, Drew. Yeah. Appreciate your time, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah, See you around. Yeah. Yeah. With that respect, you, you could say it changes. I personally would show that it changes. It doesn't change. Even if, even if it did, it doesn't matter. What? That would completely It doesn't, because the change that you guys use is inconsequential. That's a negative field is reversed. It doesn't get reversed. No, yeah. That's where you're going. That would matter, but it doesn't get reversed. No, it hasn't. Yeah. I, no. I have shown it. It. Never in your life or in no one has to Thanks for dismissing <laughs> your work. Were yeah. you were you personally First. the reversing of the magnetic field? Yeah. And what year was this that it reversed? So I can do it. The, the entire magnetic field reversed in the north of himself. Twenty twelve, I heard. I'm supposed to do that. 2012, was that the year that it reversed? No, I thought they were supposed to flip. I thought the poles were supposed to flip in 2012. So no, no, this is your work, but you don't even know in what year that it reversed. It has hundreds, if not thousands of times. That's stupid. You're just making that up. You just, you just made that up. No, nope. <laughs> really just made I that can't. up. That's ridiculous. <sighs> I don't know. Is there anything else, man, that you're like, no? Uh, no. no, I just wish that you wouldn't, like, attack me for, like, for making you, Hey, man, you said that you're not interested, so. 
I mean, it sounds like this, you're just I, I don't, disdained. I don't have anything against you personally, okay? I don't have anything like, against you either, man. But I offer, I, just, I offer you again here. Just, here's I a YouTube just didn't channel. Want to watch your YouTube videos. You don't have to watch my YouTube channels, man. I'm offering you information that most people who could observe a flat Earth would find compelling evidence. So I offer you. And if you're going to willingly reject my offer of information, and then you continue to harden your heart regarding truth, I, I feel terrified for you no, with not, the ultimate not deception. My heart. You are, yeah. Because you're going to walk away and you're going to have conflicting, you're not going to have conflicting ideas about where we're at. You're, it's actually going to encourage you to think that we, you not live on a sphere. Really not because my belief in God is not dependent on my belief that our Which God? My God. Your God you've, that you've created. Why does it have to be you? Well, you God said you're... You you, you said my God. God. Is God to me. God is different to each of us. No, he's not. Yes, he is he is the God of the Bible, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who Which died for us. to us in different ways. No, it's not different ways. There's only one mediator okay. between us and God, as that's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, so Jesus manifested... No, you. Jesus manifested to all of us. Okay. Okay. Okay, and... God manifested to us through Jesus Christ. Okay. And he died for you okay. and for me. I, I am. Okay. So that's God. So for you to say, my God, why don't you just be plain to say that if that's what you believe, say that proudly. Jesus Christ is God. I mean, well, how is that so hard, man? I asked, you said that my, my belief in my God doesn't affect me and how I view the earth. And it should, because the Bible talks about the earth being a level, motionless plane and not spinning. Over 50 times. So if you believe the Bible... I don't believe it. Okay, literally. then there you go, man. So you've created an I idol in your heart. Literally. That's, that's what the... Plan is. That's why he came up with this globe idea. Yeah. The only reason you don't believe the Bible is because of this stuff. Why wouldn't, otherwise, why wouldn't you believe the only knowledge and the only source we have of truth, the truth the knowledge of God is from the Bible? Because I think we've come farther as a, as a society. So we've evolved. We've You're saying we've evolved. No. Yes, I, don't, I don't even need to say we've evolved. Our society has progressed. No. We have degraded. We are so in complete because, and utter because despair. We wear, because we wear mixed fabrics. This is we stuff. This is we stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. Because people wear mixed fabric clothes. This is peace. And What's this people stuff, man? You need to be more specific. Because you know everything, right? You can't bring up one old testament. You just drive away. Because you don't even understand what it was about. So don't take one so, minute detail. So tell, then... tell me what, was, what it was about then. Tell what, why do we have to I why do we have know. it doesn't appear That you're gonna no, walk I'm, away more enlightened. I, I am legitimately curious. There's about no this. Ark of the Covenant Why? anymore, dude. There's, 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 there's no way you can understand what it must have been like to live before Christ. No. With I, the Ark. With I don't priests, expect to. When you owned a farm, when you had animals, when you had to cut the hair off your own sheep, you don't know what that's like. So when you're, when you're not allowed to wear sheep's wool with uh, cotton. You think that for some reason it's, we have machines making all of our clothes now. Well, or children that. in third world countries. I don't think that has anything to do with uh, moral evolution or whatever. Or somehow advancing. Well, are like our punishments as stoning? Come on, man. Or what? Like, no. like, you're, 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 you're just being, you're, you're being argumentative to be argumentative, man. the teachings of Jesus Christ don't involve that. 
No, How do you know what no. Jesus taught? He, Let the he, man who is not in right. throw the first stone. So you could technically still stone someone, but he made it so that no one would be able to. They were you. They were they were trying to trap him, man. It was a bad idea. Yeah. They were yeah. trying to entrap him. I, were they not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if he came to reveal to the Pharisees around him that they themselves were sinners and they were not themselves following God and God's law, true law, which is the Ten Commandments that he wrote with his finger twice, not the moral or not the oral mosaic written law. The Ten Commandments, okay? And he tried to show that, that if you yourselves are without sin, what gives you the right, or with sin, what gives you the right to throw stones at her when she is just able to accept forgiveness as anybody else and be forgiven? And so I'm just trying to show that he, he's trying to progress to the idea of this person has transgressed, they must die, though. As a society, he's trying to push you to Push them that it's not just in the physical, that can, the law is revealed, but also in your heart, okay. the law is revealed. That's why he says that you, you meant murder by hate another person, right? In your heart, okay? So if you, if in your heart you hate someone else, you've committed murder, right? If you see a girl walk by, and not just thinking that she's cute, but you go to that next level of it rousing, that's sin. And that, that's sin in your heart, right? Well, if, you're married. Well, if you're doing that to your wife, right. I mean, even that could... You know, you're just... If you're married to just lust, I mean, that's not right. I mean, that's what some some guys think, is that they have they struggle with lust so much in their life that if they're married, it'll solve their lust problems, and not necessarily it always does. So... He's just trying to show that you need to bridle your emotions better okay. and understand that heart is where your decisions are made and then out of the abyss of your heart, mouth speaks. I mean, does that make sense? I mean, is that something that can be applied today? To not look at a girl and just be like, gosh, I wish I could this, that, and the other with yeah. her? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how, 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 with that being said, how have we evolved out of that line of thinking? Just gave you an illustration of how we can still use Jesus's teachings now, in 2018, from 2,000 years ago. It doesn't appear that we've I, evolved. I didn't say Jesus. Okay, but you said that just the overall idea of God and the Bible and Jesus, we've moved on. Okay. No, I was getting to the point that a lot of the works of the Old Testament now. Okay are not based upon our society, but are more codified versions of Jewish society at that time. Okay. We're not, what, are you part of, are you part of the Old Testament law? I mean, are you a believer in Christ? Right, so you're part of the New Covenant. Right, he came to fulfill the law, not to break it. So we still follow the Ten Commandments. Yeah. We're not held under those yeah. Ten Commandments, because we're Accepted to God through Christ with grace. Correct? We believe on Jesus Christ through faith, and He gives us grace every day for the ability to continue to believe so that we don't sin. Okay? Alright? So, yeah, the Old Testament's there, but for you to bring up slavery and stoning and all the other ways that people treated each other Talk about slavery. I'm just bringing up examples, okay? You know? And I'm being somewhat argumentative with you because I want you to understand that believing on Jesus Christ doesn't limit you from being free to be a human being, man. Like you're not I really don't think I was trying to contest that. Well, I'm just saying, like, a lot of people who aren't followers of Christ look at Hollywood or TV or mainstream media, and they think that everybody's a Catholic, and, like, we're all walking around with sticks up our butt and walking on eggshells. Like, I can't listen to techno music on my way home and still believe in Jesus Christ. Or I can't hang out and watch a baseball game or, like, be a human being and challenge the narrative that we experience here on Earth and still believe in Christ. Like, I... 
Like, I'm not a Romans 13 guy, I guess, you know? I just question things, you know? I, I just feel like there's nothing wrong with us as believers to question things. Yeah. I guess I just see what I do as questioning the world in a different way. Uh -huh. Because the way I see it, scientific progress and like scientific discovery only serve to explain things, but that does not like. There's still an infinite amount of unknown, right? Right. And so, no, yeah, in that I mean, infinite no. exists God. So what if? So you're saying that God is in the infinite part that we can't understand? Yes, because we will never understand the infinite. Have you ever spiritually read the Bible, like prayed and said, okay, God, I'm going to check the Bible out. Please allow your spirit to indwell in me so I can interpret your word properly. Have you ever done that before? Yes. You have. Yes. And what did that come up? What, where did you go? How did that lead you to anything? I'm not sure. I'm asking, like, if that's what you did, if you prayerfully read the Bible... Yep. Where did that lead you? Did it lead you to believing on Jesus Christ? Yeah. As God? Yeah. It did? Okay. But that... That is not me as a person understanding the infinite. That is having faith in the infinite. Well, that's trusting in God for your yes. salvation. Yes. Okay. But it seems like you have another idol in your heart. And it's kind of, I, I just think, I just think from what I've, I've heard and observed that the other idol is scientism. And that it seems that you would sway more towards science because it seems like they give you more answers than God, the Bible, Jesus, prayer, and other followers of Christ. I don't know what you mean by answers. Why are, why are answers inherently bad? Because they might be the wrong answers. Maybe you're not asking the right questions. I don't think I'm asking the wrong questions. You don't? I don't think so. No? What questions should I be asking? How do I prove to myself the Earth is a ball in outer space? You could ask that question. How do you prove to yourself that you live on a sphere? <laughs> You're brainwashed, dude. I know. It's like you live in a movie. I know. And and the guys are just taking advantage of you turning you into a clone. It's slavery, dude. You're a peasant. Most of us are all too peasants, though. Yeah. Sad but true. Worse than that. Slaves, really. Yeah. You're a bondman. You're like biblical bondmen, yeah. dude. So, what are you guys? Well, I mean, I'm a bondman, too, but okay. at least I know my position. I don't know. Not the Bible, because it says, Oh, if you're a bondman, they must come from the heathen around about you. Like, dude, I am a bondman. It's not always like you have to get equipped to starve to death because you're a slave. They give you lots of food to make sure you do your job right. But if you turn into a drug addict, you probably would be. When's the last time you've read the Bible? I am right now. You are right now. Okay. Could I implore you to, in Google, type in Bible Flat Earth? Okay, so type in Bible Flat Earth, and there's some links that would probably be able to send you the... And if I, if I was able to give you my card, you know, I, and go onto my YouTube channel, I have a playlist of Flat Earth videos where it explains that the Bible talks about the Earth being a level, motionless plane. And so if you believe, if you're reading the Bible and you believe it because of what it says about Jesus Christ, are you taking that literal or is that kind of like a parable and, and it's not real? Or are you Which taking part? The, the part about explaining how you find salvation through Jesus Christ? You know, like Romans 10. Do you believe Jesus rose from the dead? How is that sign? I'm not entirely sure. Do you think you will be risen from the dead? I mean, can anybody know? Do you 
Americans think some people will be risen from the dead. Do I think some people will? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. How is it that you think Jesus rose from the dead? Do you believe in the Big Bang? Why do we have to come here? Because it's just here. There's nothing and then there's something. There's a Big Bang and there's everything. Last year. But how can, how can you know it came before? That's what they're saying. No one knows. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah. So, so that's that's why no one's saying what came before. Exactly what it just happened. And I guess that's, that's, that's the word God exists. Now what they're saying. How old is the Earth? Do you know? Like, I mean, on, on like an estimation. Just like 4.5 billion years old. And you believe the Bible? Yes. Okay. But so, not literally. not literally. So, in Genesis 1, when it talks about the days, that could be like millions of years, then, right? Is that what you're saying? A day, as described in Genesis, could be not 24 hours, but millions of years. I can't agree with that. You know that. That's that's not true, right? In your heart, you know that. The Earth is not billions of years old. It's at the most 8,000 years old. It's like a test subject. At the most 8,000 years old. You just elaborate, dude. No, Did I just... That was, that was one... That was a bishop. No. Who was trying to do science. Trying to do science? Like you're trying to defend your idea of evolution and you trust the Bible? Come on, man. What? Trying to defend my idea of evolution? Yep. By, by saying that we can do atomic isotopes to show that the Earth is not 8,000 years old. That's not, those are two different things completely. No, it's not. You're being lied to, man. And you know it. In your heart. No, I don't, man. Yeah. You don't know it, or you... I don't know that I'm being lied to. Okay, then I you need to don't seriously up. prayer, be prayerful about what it is that you're believing in these churches that you go to here, because you don't live on a spinning ball in outer space. Okay. Water always spins its level. Gravity is not real. 
and evolution is a complete and utter waste of our thought life to think about. We need to exchange it with real truth. And maybe find a good, solid guy that you can have a Bible study with, and he can point you in the right direction, man. Because you are lost right now. So. You are lost. I don't think so. Yeah. Really. Uh, I am it's being insane. aggressive because I've been here, standing here with you for about an hour and a half, and I've sort of kind of lost my. Just don't. I'm just interested in you. How's it going? Well, I can. It's going. Good. Right. Can I hear you guys' evidence? Yeah. Like in I like a minute. Huh? In like a minute. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. What is hump of the earth? I don't know. You have no idea. Not often. No. no. We think that you live all in outer space, correct? A sphere, yes. Okay, but you have no idea. It's like it's the. I do know what it looks like. You do know what it looks like. It's like uh, a satellite picture. Yeah. A satellite picture. A painting, possibly. No, not a painting. Yeah, actually, I got a, I got a painting of the Earth right here. Two of them. Yeah. Yep, those are really beautiful paintings. paintings. If they're, if they're, if they're paint These are official NASA. Okay. And they're admitted yep. to be paintings. Okay. Okay. And so, with this footprint of just under 5,000 miles, it goes up to eight inches per mile squared. Okay, and so with that curvature calculation, looking from one side of the shoreline over Lake Michigan, 50 miles away is the Chicago skyline. Right. Okay, how much curvature should we be seeing if the equation and the circumference of the Earth is correct as told by scientists? I don't know, you tell me. 1,500 feet. Okay. Okay, so you shouldn't be able to see the skyline at all and the top part of the Willis Tower may be like two or three hundred feet. Okay. But you can from okay. 50 miles away. Because water always finds its level when it's in a container. And at what height do you have to be to observe water sticking to a spinning ball at a thousand miles an hour? And don't say relativity or gravity. Why not? Because <laughs> those, those are theories. Okay. Those are so, not proven. So. so why do we stick to the ground? Because you weigh more than the air around you. Okay. Just, okay. Gravity. No. It's buoyancy and density, young lady. Yeah. And gravity is a theory. Gravity. gravity is a theory. So it's like us coming up with the idea that a rhinoceros is the great, 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 great grandfather of a unicorn. That's a theory. Actually, fun You're fact. You're being brainwashed. Unicorns like a test were actually proven to be an old of an ancestor of a rhino. I'm just telling you what you want to hear. Uh, okay, I'm sure so. it was. And so that's that's my proof, is water finding its level. At no anything. height will you see curvature of the earth. Okay, um, here is my evidence that the, the earth is flat. Your personal observable what? evidence. No, no, no. That the earth is, is, is round. Yeah, like a penny. It's, 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 yep, just no, like no, a no, penny, no. like this. No, not, yep. not not like that. Well, I'm saying round. Yeah, round, like this. Okay, but like that's this. not what I'm saying. I'm saying no, I'm saying round. I'm proof that you're saying that round, and I'm saying round. It's a sphere. Oh, okay, good. Now that you're using the proper vernacular, I appreciate that. Sorry, now that you're not going to be a dickhead to an innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, that you would stopped. be real cool. And you asked for my proof, and I gave you it. Yeah, and I'm here to tell you my proof. Mm -hmm. My father is a flat earther, a creationist, and uh, he has gone on several, several rants about why the earth is flat, which it's not, because there was... Still waiting for your evidence. I'm, oh, I'm working yeah, up to it. I don't want to hear a story, young lady. I just want to hear your evidence. Okay. Picture proof of a man on the top of Mount Everest shows the curvature of the earth. No, it doesn't. It's a level. Yeah. It's it's a level horizon. Well, I, I'm pretty sure you're wrong about that. Actually, the picture's higher than Mount Everest. Yeah, you can you can take pictures okay, do you want to from a high altitude balloon. Do you, do you want to show me one? Okay, but do you want to show me one? Sure. But is it going to convince you? Probably not. <laughs> then what's wrong. the point? Yeah. I mean, well, why are you asking for evidence to see? With a GoPro cam and get a curve every time. Yeah, it's called a fisheye lens. You never heard of a fisheye lens? Oh, no, I definitely have. Okay, that's the stock lens on most GoPros that you buy. Right. You actually have to buy a standard lens on GoPros on most models. Right. Because it's just a fisheye lens. Okay. And so, how is somebody else's picture evidence that it's a globe? 
How is your picture evidence that it's flat? Like, do you have a... No, this is an official NASA photo. I mean, I'm just, I'm just providing you with the same information that everybody here is given. And I just want you to critically think that the pictures of outer, from, of Earth from outer space are paintings and they're not real. Okay. I will think on it. I mean, yeah, Thank, think on thanks it. Thanks for... But also, you, you still have yet to show me any proof that the Earth is a spinning ball in outer space. Okay, a picture of somebody on Ever uh, Mount Everest doesn't prove that you're on a spinning ball in that water. Subject being used by and, millionaires. And water and sticks sticks to a ball. Whatever they, whatever they want. Okay. Dude. My my thing here. Slave of all peasants. Yeah, let us have it because apparently you have some bent up aggression that your dad's a flat earther. Maybe you can't tell him some things that you'd like to tell uh, no, us. I've told him I've told him. You have. Yeah. And he's an idiot, right? Yeah. Oh, oh sure. Jeff, definitely, yeah. Because um, nobody could hide anything from you. You're, you know, you work at Jimmy John's. You know everything. Oh, and... I definitely did not say that I know everything. Oh, you don't. Jeff, don't put words in my mouth. Okay. My thing here is I have a problem with you people. You people. Yeah. Yes. You, okay. You sorts of people who stand here on sides of the roads preaching to people. Preaching. All fine. Preaching. Totally fine. Well, you believe the earth is flat because of... No, it's not belief. It's true and it's observable Wait, evidence. Me me you believe that the earth is flat it's because not a belief. of it's not a belief. the Bible, correct? No, I actually became a flat earther long before I knew that it was in the Bible. Thanks. Okay, but... So you're assuming now. Okay, okay. His, his sign has a Bible verse on the back. That's great, that's so him. I did just assume. That's him. But you guys are standing together preaching the same thing. So I just, you know, assumed... Do you even know the what evidence. the Bible verse is? What is the Bible verse? I'm not even talking about the Bible verse. Well, I mean, you brought it up, so yes, I mean... Yes, I did, but that's because What is I, the Bible verse? Regardless of that. You can't even remember what the Bible verse is. Oh, sorry. I don't have... Oh, you brought it up. I'm just asking you what the, the Bible, Bible verse is. The Bible verse, the exact Bible verse that is on the back of his sign has nothing to do with the topic... Then why did you bring it up? I brought it up. Christ in the Bible, right? I, I didn't say that you were preaching Jesus Christ. You said preaching. I said you were preaching. Which, which would lead so people assuming. to believe that it's the so Bible. Because you brought up the Bible verse. Yep, I am, I am yeah, putting circumstantial I'm evidence together. Yeah. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought you were I'm preaching. glad that your dad's a flat earther so that you hear this all the time and you'll eventually be no, judged. I actually don't talk to my dad. You'll, you'll, because you have the knowledge. But, um, anyway. My issue with people who stand on the street. Yeah, because like we fight for something and you don't. Oh, excuse me. I am a feminist. I definitely fight. Where did I feminism come from? Rights. You know? Because well, you said that I don't stand for anything. Where did feminism come from? Where was uh, it developed? You, it developed from equal rights, from human rights. It developed from women wanting to be equal as men. Yeah, it developed from the CIA. It's mind control. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it is. Because women weren't able to work and collect, and the government wasn't able to collect taxes from them. Okay. And so they create, quote, feminist movement, which didn't actually exist before. But and then it was created to feminism. destroy our family and our homes so that it would take mothers from watching children at home and put them in and doctor chisier so that the state could raise our kids instead of a I core group of family. I don't want a babysitter. I want my mom at home teaching me and can be around my family. I don't want to, why do I have to be around strangers? Yeah. So that the government can collect taxes from women. Or That's where the can make a living wage because America sucks. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I, if we were like England, we would have living wages. We would all make living wage. Yeah, it's called a unicum. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's your name? <laughs> Fed Reserve, the Fed Reserve is on that opportunity. But. Here's the thing. So you don't even know where feminism comes from. I just told you exactly where feminism came from. It also came from the ability to a children, which is going on since Roe v. Do you Wade. Have a with abortion? Uh one hundred percent I do, yeah. So Murdering raped, eighty million kids. So if I got raped, I would have to 
produce my, my abusers. Yeah, that's the mass. That's the biggest matter. majority of all of them. It still, it doesn't it got me. And I had you're, to you're produce. Bringing up a straw man. I this had is a straw to man argument. This is a straw my man argument. Child, and have to deal with looking at the face of my abuser every day that I raise that child. Why do you have to look at him every day you raise your child? Well, why would yes, I not it sounds look like at a child? It's not an assumption. Yeah. Yeah. You see the accuracy of you're just bringing like, condoms, not a hundred percent. Yeah, controlling condoms is to. I mean, because we can just I mean, like, freefully have sex with whoever we want because we have birth control. Your paper that you have signed that would you have that signed? That's a baby tree. Made so out what? Of a tree. Yeah. So, so you're what? cool with killing trees. No, you're cool baby, with trees that do not have babies. No, they have seeds. seeds. Trees. Seeds. Trees are trees. Grow into small trees. Yeah, and then you plant more trees, and then you cut those down later, and then you plant right. more trees, and you cut down right. them later. Die anyways. So what's the fucking point? Human beings are incredibly special over a tree, young okay. lady. Do you know what trees you are? Do? You are so do you know unbelievable. What trees do for us? Yeah. Where's global warming? Global warming. Oh, does you are unbelievable. Okay, so you don't believe the ice caps are melting? You are so ridiculous right now. Are you late for work? Oh no, I'm off of work. You're I off of work. Plenty of time. Awesome, good. You think human beings are trees? I You're think every being on earth, be it plants, trees, whatever. It's not a being. It is a being. No, it's not. It's a Why tree. Is it not? Why is it not a being? Because it's a tree. But it means. It is. It it breathes. It lives. You're unbelievable. Trees give you oxygen. Yeah, I respect trees, Obviously, but I'm gonna cut it down Obviously, if I want to make don't. paper, and then I'll plant more, and then 20 years later, I'll plant more, and then the cycle continues. What creates global warming? CO2. Well, what absorbs CO2? Trees. You're so off base. It's unbelievable. It's just uh, you're using straw man arguments, and you're saying a tree is. As important as a human being. It is. So you don't eat any of that, do you? No, I never said that I didn't. Do oh, it. so you're a vegan, so you eat trees. No, even a vegan. Wow. No, a tree. Yeah, a vegan can't eat trees. They're organisms. Do you know what? Yeah. Okay. Are you? Do you eat meat? No. You don't. No, I don't. But you're a vegan. Yeah. So you eat plants. Yeah. That's. Do you know what? That's cannibalism. <laughs> It's cannibalism. Do you know Sounds like cannibalism to me, John. Is? The food chain? Yeah. Do now you you're using a chains? government propagated oh, idea wait. of how we're supposed to eat food. All right. Yeah. Praise Satan. Give me a break. So middle finger is your science? I thought you had all day. Where are you going? I don't have time for assholes like you guys. I'm a richer. Thanks. Yeah, walk away. All cool. Eat your... Yeah, some days it's Richard, other days it's Dick. Have fun eating your plants that you're that you're murdering every time you eat them. You hypocrite. You're a hypocrite, you know it. Straw man arguments. That was that that was fun, man. Good work. Hey dude. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John, I'll keep in touch, man. Hard day's work indeed. Whew. All right. Well, that was fun. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time right here on Authentic Intent.